Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to check the firmware on your Simon XT. So I have the Simon XT panel right here. Now, checking the firmware on the Simon XT is very important because in order for it to be compatible with Alarm.com communicators, it needs to be a certain revision. If it is not a certain revision and you get the Alarm.com communicator, and you try to use it with a system that is not on the correct version, it just will not work and you would have bought the communicator for no reason. Um, now, the firmware on these systems can be updated. It's something that is done through alarm.com. So if you have a monitoring company and you have the system activated with them, you can actually request that they push a firmware update to your system. Now, the firmware that your system needs to be on is 1.3 or higher. Yeah, this is basically any Simon or Simon XT, Simon XTI, or even the Simon XTI 5. So again, it needs to be version 1.3 or higher. Um, I'm going to show you guys the quick and the easiest way to check the firmware on the Simon XT. Now, as you see right now, I'm in a disarmed state, and you see these up and down arrow keys. That is all you have to do. You don't need to know any codes. You can either go up or down. doesn't matter which way you go. If I go down, um, it's, I'm just going to keep going until I see, whoops, sorry, the revision number is 1.6. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter. If you're at the home screen, you can go up as well. That's the quick revision. My revision on this system is actually 1.6. If you guys can't see, I'll do it again right here. 1.6. And then if you let it leave it alone for a couple of seconds, it'll actually time back out to the home screen. Now, that is the quickest way to just check the revision. Again, um, the cellular communicators for this, like I was telling you, there's alarm.com communicators. So you need to make sure you're on a good revision, 1.3 or higher. Uh, now, this is going to be mainly for like the Verizon the AT&T, um, there's a couple of other cellular providers that have communicators for the Simon XTI panels or for the Simon panels, which we actually do have on our website. And if you guys want to find out more, you guys can always email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Um, something, if you're wondering what the communicators allow you to do, by the way, the communicators are, first of all, what allow you to get monitored. So if you're looking for central station monitoring, it's what gives the panel access to the outside world. So whenever there's an alarm, the panel uses a cellular communicator to send the signal out through the cellular path, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, or any other other ones that you may have installed. Um, it also allows you to control the system using the alarm.com interactive services. So if you're signed up for a plan that offers you those interactive services, you can actually arm and disarm the system from your cell phone or from, from the website alarm.com. Uh, and uh, it allows you to set up email and text notifications. So if you're being monitored or even if you're doing self-monitoring and you do have some level of service, you can set up uh, email and text notifications. And if you guys weren't looking for central station, we do have plans like that as well. If you guys, like I said, do want to find out more, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, just make sure you hit like underneath. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys are notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time.